In this video, I'm going to give you a quick run through of when to use subdivisions and Dynamesh in ZBrush. Subdivisions are great for increasing the resolution of your model, allowing you to sculpt higher details on it. The slider also gives you the freedom to scrub up and down between resolutions to see the before and after levels of your sculpt. However, if you're solely relying on subdivisions for sculpting, you're going to hit a wall. This is because subdivisions only increase the divisions of our fixed topology, meaning that we're going to struggle if we need to do any kind of extreme deformation on our mesh. It also creates problems when we want to try using the deformation tools such as Mirror and Weld, as there are way too many unfixed points for ZBrush to calculate, therefore it won't allow us to. To fix that error, we would have to freeze our topology, which would stick us on one level of subdivs, and pray that ZBrush lets us reconstruct them after. Or we can use Dynamesh. Where subdivisions will just add more topology onto your existing topology to give you more resolution, Dynamesh will change the topology of your mesh, allowing you to deform better and also keep the resolution lower, as it's only giving you the necessary division needed at the resolution you require. Dynamesh is great for when you're still working on the base and mid-level details of your sculpt and are still making big changes to the geometry. You can actually get quite high in resolution with Dynamesh by increasing the slider or rebuild a lower resolution. However, note that you can lose some details by decreasing the resolution. Because using Dynamesh means we're working with dynamic fixed topology, we don't have to worry about freezing anything in order to mirror and weld. When you get to this level, you're no longer looking to change your geometry, and so Dynamesh is no longer required. This is where subdivisions come in handy. Subdividing will allow us to get those nice superficial details that will most likely be carried over into a displacement map. 